welcome back to another uh, another tune kind at uh, 12 FPS. Uh, my name is Magic, uh, and uh, we are going to be distressing today. Uh, <laughs> I am I am playing uh, a goat a goat man uh, called called Seeker, um, and today I am here with uh, my my lovely friend and co-host. Hi, I am Oatmeal, and today I will be playing the professor. <laughs> uh for for those listening this is set between uh between ch I just fucking Chiroskiro Chiroskiro uh and what will be the festival game we haven't gotten to the festival game yet um <laughs> yeah so in uh, into silence campaign uh between episode 2 Chiroskiro's call and whatever comes next <laughs> sorry sorry um <laughs> uh okay um hey professor uh what you doing right about now uh he's in the ellipsis um tweaking some uh tweaking some instruments um he doesn't think they're uh reading correctly so he's trying okay. to recalibrate them mm -hmm. uh Quick question: Is uh, is the door to the ellipsis locked right now? Um, I would say no because he's um in there, and the only people who know where it is are uh y'all. Mm hmm. Because it's a it's a, I mean it's probably visible from the town if you know what to look for, but uh, it's also you know a ways out. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. Okay, uh, I think, uh, there's, uh, like, a, a half knock that echoes on the door, and then, uh, an, an opening of said door, uh, like someone had forgotten if it was locked or not, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Who is and it? only, uh, uh, and, uh, Professor, uh, you hear a, oh, you know, it's just me, um, and uh, you hear you hear the the door get uh, closed behind uh, what you presume is Seeker. Mm -hmm. Um, hi. Just working on something. Uh, ooh, what you working on? Um, these sensors uh, seem to have been um, misaligned since the, I last looked at them, and I'm not sure. Uh, I think Seeker has sort of uh pranced over to uh, go stand next to you uh, and sort of like is looking over your shoulder now um, mm -hmm. no no proper greeting but just kind of like interested in what you're working on um, mm -hmm. I want to okay. roll intelligence to see if he notices that mm. no <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not that was a five <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> God, this is gonna be fucking hilarious. <laughs> uh, trend continues. <laughs> <laughs> um. Can Can I roll an intelligence to see if I can make heads or tails or what the as what the fuck this is displaying? Uh. Yeah. Um, sure. Okay. <laughs> Fifteen. Wow, I mentally set the DC at fifteen, so go figure. Um, <laughs> so you're not sure if you could like operate it per se, but like uh, they're at least decently like labeled and like basically intuitive enough that even you seeker uh, can understand that. Um, uh, they're different readouts for, um, some basic stuff like, uh, weather, like temperature and humidity and, um, uh, where, like, magno magnetic north is and, uh, I don't know, wind speed, so, you know, some, some sort of basic, uh, weather stuff. And then there's some, uh, more odd things like, uh, a chronometer that goes in, like, years, uh, 
um, DeLorean style and, um, uh, and some, it looks like a speedometer, like on a car. Um, uh, but it's just kind of like, it, j like jittering back and forth. Uh, and I don't think that one has like a specific label on it, but yeah, that's, that's the one he's sort of like got, like, he, he's like twisting knobs under it, like trying to see if he can get it to settle. Uh, I think, uh, Professor, you see his, his eyes linger, like, maybe a moment longer than they should at the, uh, at, at the sort of time monitor before looking at the speed monitor and kind of, like, uh, tinking its side. Uh, mm -hmm. it's just, you got a, a problem with, um, the, the speed? Um, no, no, it's not actually a speedometer it just looks like that it's it's measuring um uh sort of ripples in time um ripples ripples in time yes of course i, I mean yes like he's just sort of like <laughs> like gives uh gives them a glance um uh seeker looks kind of sheepish uh um, and I just, I don't know, I don't know why it's doing this, why it's acting up. I mean, it could, it could just be some random fault. Um, stars know it, it happens, but, um, to happen after, um, being, hmm, turned off course like that, I'm just trying to figure out what the fault is. Hmm. Think it's something to do with the wiring? Hmm. I don't think so. Mm. I've been in that recently. I mean, I'll check again. We could check again. Uh, well, I might as well. I'm not making much progress just uh, fiddling with the settings. Um, I think if, like, Professor is, like, looking in, like, a, a little cabinet, Seeker kind of, like, dips down to, like, look in it as well. Uh, to look at the, uh, the, the neat and interesting things in there. Um. Yeah, he's, he's gonna basically, like, open up a panel on the bottom of the, like, desk-looking part of the console. Um, that's, like, basically directly underneath that, um, that, uh, control panel bit. Um. And so there's just a plate of metal on the floor um, as he just sort of sits on the floor and looks up at it. Uh, kind of like when you go under a car to work on it. Mm-hmm. He's just, he's just tracing tracing wires from, from point A to point B and stuff. Uh, okay. Um, question. What, what sort of thing is the, the metal made out of that's on the floor? Oh, um, hmm, for the panel, probably... You don't have to have something exact, just like if no. it would contain... It's probably like aluminum? Aluminum, okay. Like thick aluminum. Like, hmm. like it's, it's light, it's not heavy like iron, but, um, but it's, you know, it's not like an aluminum foil and where it's going to like, uh immediately bend either mm. lightweight metal lightweight metal I think uh, I think he kind of like picks it up to like properly prop it against the uh, to uh, properly prop it against the console and just kind of uh, like place it down uh, and uh, sort of go go to like crouch over next to the professor and just kind of uh uh, kind of like try looking under as well, mm -hmm. uh, like this fucking uh, <laughs> hillbilly from the middle of nowhere knows what the fuck you're doing. Um, yeah, yeah. He... Uh, but no, oh, go ahead. Oh, he just sort of like, after a moment, like, stops and smirks and like glances at Seeker, like 
What? <laughs> oh no, I'm just I'm just curious. Don't mind me over here. Um, and he kind of, he kind of, like, waves, uh, waves a hand, uh, and, like, you, you see his, like, attention kind of snap to his hand for a second before, like, shaking and going back to looking at you. He just, like, looks slightly confused. <laughs> Are you alright? Oh, yes, no, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I, I took a little jaunt, uh, took a little jaunt around. Around town and came back here. Oh. Uh, very, very intriguing place out there, you know. You, you know they have a candy store. Oh. Of course I know. You left to go to the candy store. Remember? <laughs> uh, I think uh, he takes a moment and like he he kind of like thinks it goes. Oh right, apologies. <sighs> Where's my memory gone? He like pauses and just sort of like like his hands have stopped at this point and he's like they're still in the control but he's just like just just like looking at Seeker like are you sure you're alright? You've oh, everything uh, running smoothly? I mean I'm no machine but I believe I do am. I am running smoothly. I mean unlike your uh uh, and he kind of he kind of looks off uh, at the machine for a moment. Uh, unlike your uh, uh, your machine here. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's just he's just like squinting. Um. <laughs> he looks so earnest. He has like the the little uh. <laughs> the little like cat face on that uh, he normally does. Yeah, but like your machine here is such a weird thing for him to say. It um, is. Professor is just like internally like something is going on. I don't know what the hell it is, but um. So uh, let's see. What are you gonna do, Professor? <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, sorry. So he goes, um, do you remember the designation I gave it? Designation? Um, I think, uh, I think he kind of, like, blinks, uh, and just goes, mm, it was, um, uh, some, some sort of Speed outpost, right? Uh, um. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to make a grapple. <laughs> 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 because you have failed the vibe check. <laughs> <laughs> so now. Now I need you to roll, uh, I guess I roll athletics, you do athletics or acrobatics? Yeah, athletics or acrobatics. Um, excellent. Okay, it's a decent roll. Okay. That's my fucking second nat 20. No way! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that's really close, though, because Professor did oh. get a 25, but it wasn't a nat 20, not even close. So, like, I think he, like, um, uh, just sort of, like, uh, like, dips out of the, the control and, like, goes for Seeker and, like, definitely, like, uh, definitely, like, uh, brushes his uh, arms for a second, and then, but then he like, uh, you know, dodges away. Mm. Yeah, he kind of like rolls to the side. I will say with that with that move, you have like knocked off his glasses. Um, and hey, professor. Mm. Seeker looks a little odd. Um, mm -hmm. there 
there's there's this almost uh toon like shadow that has like kind of uh went over his face uh when mm -hmm. you did that mm -hmm. um you didn't notice it earlier but uh it's uh it's there now um and it kind of causes his eyes to have that you know when um when a uh, goat eyes uh reflect in the darkness mm. um yep they have a little sh like red shine to them oh boy um and his sunglasses kind of fall to the floor with a like a little a little uh words like a clack uh, yeah little little clack clack um, as they settled down beside you. Mm hmm Uh, he's gonna quick, um, uh, reach for the, uh, ellipsis controls and, uh, lock the door. Uh, <laughs> I think, I think he was kind of, like, backing up towards that, and you see him, like, glance at the door, uh, as it locks, mm -hmm. um, before he moves to the other side of the console. Um, from the professor. So it's harder for the professor to, like, bolt over and grab him. Mm-hmm. Uh, he just leans on it, and he's got kind of an intense expression. Um, and he goes, All right, so who are you? <laughs> who am I? Um, <laughs> uh, you see... He, he doesn't turn his back on you, but he kind of, like, uh, paces. He? Question mark? Um. Mm. <laughs> now why, my dear good sir, should I answer that question for you? Look, this is either a very funny joke, or you need to leave. <laughs> uh does do that laugh. Uh, mm -hmm. <sighs> sorry, I'm, like my brain is just like, all right, I need to say all of the words all at once. Um, mm. <sighs> I'm not sure. I should tell you my name. How about let's play a little game? Why don't you tell me who you are first? Absolutely not. No, why not? <laughs> no. Why? Are you scared in your own home? Is yeah. that what it is? His, his, his eyes, like, squint, uh, and, uh, he just, like, gives them a look. He's like, I don't... I don't tell intruders who I am until they identify themselves <laughs> first. Your door was unlocked. <laughs> mm. um, does like a, a little spin. Uh, very tunish, whoever this person is. Uh, mm -hmm. Can't seem to sit still. Um, yes, well, I thought only my friends knew how to find this place. Oh, your friends did, didn't they? <laughs> uh, any kind of, uh, sort of, like, flicks one of the tape reels. Um. Yeah, he doesn't but... like that. <laughs> <laughs> um. I suppose you could call me an aspect. An aspect of the plot, as I notice there is something a little wrong here, isn't there? I'll say you're possessing my friend. <laughs> this is only natural karma. Um, kind of leans on the console. Um, uh, <laughs> sorry. After all, I just simply needed to take him out of the plot. No. And I... 
Get out. Now. What? Why? Because that's not... You can't take him out of the picture. Why not? You... Why would you want to? Because that's not how the plot is meant to work, is it? I don't see why not. Hmm. Uh, and, uh, kind of leans off of the console. Um. Well, how would you know how the plot works? Well. I mean, I am the plot in all technicality. Mm hmm. Well, whether that's true or not. I admit I may not have a full understanding of what the plot is, but... Then why do you seem so grumpy about it? Because what I do know about it, I do not like. Including what I'm seeing here. <laughs> oh, do tell me. Do tell me what you don't like here, sir. No, I would, ra I would rather you just leave. Um... He's going to flip a switch uh, on the console. Um, and there's sort of a static, like, buzzing. And he, he takes a step away from it. Mm -hmm. Are they touching the console? Uh, I think I said they leaned back. Um, away from it? Yeah. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh, but... For, for comedic effect, uh, could touch it. Uh, could be still, like, holding hands on it. Uh, that's up to you. The professor wasn't going to, like, time it. He just wanted to have this set up. Okay. Uh, I, I guess this is a, a, a device to not, like, have people touch the console while they're having, like, a confrontation in the cockpit. It's kind of electrified now. <laughs> I knew it. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to see if he fucking notices, actually. Oh, lord. <laughs> he really if he didn't, and he just heard this whining noise, and it's really annoying. <laughs> um, hit the nine notice the fucking console's electrified. Uh, ugh. I think a nine knows that something is wrong with it, and probably dangerous, but doesn't know exactly what. Like, I you would have had to make a 10. <laughs> uh, I think uh, there's a sort of, like, little hop to to a different foot and just, Oh, wow, me, you do not like me, do you? I don't like people who possess my friends. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Hmm, how about we make a deal? Mm-hmm. You tell me what you don't like about the plot, and I will consider leaving. No deal. No. How about I'll leave when when you tell me? He thinks about it. Um <laughs> Um, this, 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 this person is just kind of, like, shimmying back and forth. Um. Yeah, um, he says, uh, let's see, he says, sure, and then he casts, um, Intellect Fortress, uh, on this person, which, uh, as you know, um, gives advantage on, uh, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws, and... Uh, uh, resistance to psychic damage, but um, since she's not making charisma saves, obviously it doesn't do anything except there's just a sort of like funky, uh, like weird glyphs of like orange, like faint light about his head. Oh, what are these? 
uh, kind of like poking them. You should know what that is. <laughs> oh, this is adorable, isn't it? <laughs> well, uh, hopefully it'll help kick you out sooner. Oh, come on. This isn't that hard, is it? Just to tell me what's wrong. I don't know why you want to know. <laughs> My dear, I'm an aspect of the plot. Of course I want to know. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> For what purpose? <laughs> Why can't I just carry you? I would prefer if you weren't. <laughs> I mean, it's not every day we have a sort of plot break like this. <laughs> uh, he just, like, like, uh, scrubs a hand over his face, uh, pretty hard, and, like, into his hair, and, um, uh, shakes his head and says, like, fine, we'll get this over with. <sighs> All right, you want to know why I don't like the plot? Yes, I do. Okay. Well, uh, first, as I understood it, it struck me as mm, similar to predestination, you know, fate and the like, uh, which I dislike because... Uh, in most of its forms, it erases free will. Um, and besides, mm, some very powerful people proved it doesn't work like that a very long time ago. Hold on, I have to, I have to fucking roll, I have to fucking roll, I have to fucking roll, give me <laughs> No, Seeker, this is not on, on course! Seeker! <laughs> That's supposed to be a negative two, but that's an eleven. Um. Oh god, does eleven make it? Fuck. Uh. Uh. Sorry, I'm. The seeker instantly went, oh lord? Um. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and is now doing an internal battle. Uh. <laughs> I think, uh, there's a kind of, like, sort of. Uh, strange, sort of, like, jittery, uh, like, tilt of the head. That looks a little uncanny. Um, mm. It's just like, oh, blood sort of people. Come on, surely you know. Mm, what, what if I want to hear it from you? Uh, <laughs> you're insufferable. Oh, aren't I? God, this is so fucking fun to tease the professor. Oh my I'm so gosh. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you're having fun with this. I'm sorry. Oh yes, no, absolutely. Um Yeah, he just sort of like um scowls and he like tilts his head uh a bit and he says the sort of people I come from. Interesting. Um Kind of, uh, God, I'm still imagining them standing across, like, across the fucking console. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Neither of them moving because they know as soon as they head in one direction, the other might bolt, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. either towards them or away from them. Uh, yeah, it's a standoff. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um. Um. But then he just sort of shakes his head and he says, but that's not what the plot is. Oh? Is it not? No. I was then told that it is sort of a natural force, not unlike gravity, that primarily, if not exclusively, affects tunes and tune spaces. After all, I've never observed it anywhere else. Hmm. Mm. 
Mm. And, well, something like that. I still dislike that, because that's still essentially an external force making force, uh, making changes to a person's existence and to their timeline, or, or their story, if you like, if you prefer, without their <laughs> consent or their input. Mm. I do find it interesting how you do not view and you do not view the progression of the plot as something they do of their own free will. How do you know their actions wouldn't have led to those consequences anyway, regardless of any worldviews? People are always acting like the plot intervened, like it did something, like it caused something to go a certain way, like things that are implausible are the fault of the plot. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, kind of tilts head consideringly. Um, cause like I'm processing this information. Uh, mm. cause like, God, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm so sorry, my head is just like, Professor! <laughs> um, I think, I think what this, uh, seeker possession is doing is still like, kind of, uh, like, sort of, uh, dancing around as you go on, uh, mm -hmm. in a, a strange way of focusing, but, uh, still focusing. Mm hmm mm hmm Uh... And it's... Hmm... Your worldview is interesting, but I don't see why you have such a problem with it. A problem with... With something making unwanted changes to people's lives? Is it that the way the world works? Just in general? Things happen without reason. We just have a wait for it. <sighs> no, that's not how it works. Some things. Isn't it? No. Some things are left to random chance, yes, but those are all set up by. By observable factors that that can be measured after it happens. Maybe you just haven't seen the things you should object for it. Okay, so say. <laughs> I mean, your being here suggests that, <laughs> as I've heard from some others, that instead of a natural force like gravity, it's more like an entity fabricating mm. situations and using tunes in a cosmic puppet show for their own benefit. Mm. For the plot's benefit. Oh god, Seek, you're struggling with this one. Oh, mm. <laughs> oh fuck. Um. That's not quite the way I would put it. Oh. How would you put it? Ah, mm. mm -hmm. uh, god. I... My question is... Why would they be playthings? Because they have no say in the matter. They have no control over it. Can't they still take their own actions? Can't I don't know. You do tell me. Dictates? Why, what's the point of telling me things if I can ask you questions? <sighs> I mean, 
I do not think you would listen to a rant from me, would you, Professor? I might, begrudgingly. <laughs> oh. Is that what really bothers you? The fact that you view everyone as puppets on this invisible string? Is that it? What? Okay, you're gonna have to repeat that for me because I actually didn't hear you. Oh, uh, seeker. <laughs> Like double quotation marks. Um, yes, correct. <laughs> um, uh, said if uh, asked if that was what really bothered him, uh, the fact that he's imagining everyone as puppets on these strings. Hmm. He he sort of tilts his tilts his head a bit in the opposite direction. Uh, considering, um. And he says, that's definitely part of it, but I think there's more to it than that. Oh. What more to it do you think there is? <laughs> I think it's not quite as simple as direct interference, maybe, but subtle things set up to to cause something years, perhaps centuries later down the line. And things said and overheard by the right people leading to something something significant that may not have aligned without that interference. Just nudging pieces in the right direction. Mm. Right in quotation marks. Let me ask you a question. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> that little fucking up got me. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Internal, you've done nothing but ask questions. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. And, uh. God. Uh. Kind of slowly prances in the professor's direction. Not quite enough where the professor would be able to run and catch up to him, but, you know, closer. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, He's kind of just, like, tense and definitely watching. What would have happened just in some of those situations without the plot? <laughs> without the plot? Yes. They would have just... Something else would have happened, or the same thing would have happened. It just... Then can you argue that it was the plot regardless? Even if something different happened, maybe it simply wasn't meant to be. I'm not the one going around... Uh... <sighs> oh, no, do continue, my good sir. I'm not the one going around attributing things to the plot, but... If somebody, for example, runs into a murder every single fucking day for their entire life, well, they're attuned, so they blame it on the plot. Because otherwise, it is statistically nigh impossible. That's not to say that it can't happen. But it is so implausible that it is very hard to believe that it was not that it was not caused by something. And maybe mm -hmm. that something is the pattern that somebody has set up 
or or something has set up, or maybe it's intrinsic to this, this place, these people, I don't know, where everything has to line up into a story, something with themes, something, something with a beginning and a middle and the end, something coherent. Even the messy ones are coherent in some way or the other. That's not how the world works. What about the moments you don't get to see? <laughs> the moments you don't get to see? Downtime, Professor. He just sort of, like, pauses and, like, frowns because uh, he remembers that term used <laughs> uh, in a conversation with Seeker. And he just shakes his head and he says, even downtime is scripted here. It gets put into place where it's needed and, and doesn't exist when it would get in the way of the story that's being run. It's as controlled as anything else, even if what happens in it has less impact on the story. You know, maybe you can light, maybe you can um, give the reins a little slack for some downtime. I don't know. He shrugs. <laughs> God. I, I wiggle. I love the professor so goddamn much. No. Like, I, I love his just, like, cold anger in these moments that you can, like, see shining through. Mm. He's just fucking done instead of being, like, angry and emotional. Yeah. There's <laughs> it, 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 a certain je ne sais quoi. Um, <laughs> yeah, he hasn't been tipped over the edge yet. Um. <laughs> oh, God. Which way do I gotta go to do that? Um. Uh... I don't know, maybe ask why it's personal. <laughs> I could! Thank you, Oatmeal, for the idea. Oh. You may. And why? Why, can I ask? Has it bothered you in particular so significantly? I can see your dislike for it, you know? <laughs> see how much it burns at you. Yeah, he just, like, grits his teeth. Uh, by the way, this this thing has gotten closer and closer uh, until you can, like, stare it right in the eye. Oh, God. Um... Oh, Professor. Um, I think I have to do a save or a check or something because he has two things that he could do. Um, uh, probably a whiz check, huh? <laughs> whiz, whiz save? Whiz... Whiz save. They're the same modifier for me, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's a... That's a 13. He's gonna go for the more reasonable one, which is talking. Um... Was the other one going to be fighting? Yes. Um... <laughs> Uh, so he's just, like, still watching them very closely, but he says, like, Okay, I don't know what you know about me, besides my name, but that's not difficult to pick up. And he sort of, like, pauses questioningly, like, are you going to give any hint as to how much you know about him, or...? Uh, there is a sickeningly sweet smile. <sighs> Alright. So... The plot reminds me of... Another force in the universe. A group of very powerful people and how they 
act in regards to the universe at large and on time. And more specifically, how they act on me. On you? Mm hmm. Care to elaborate? I'm not sure if I do. Oh, come on. It's fairly obvious that you mean more people exactly like you. Well, for one, there was a subgroup of them that tried to take entire control of my life to the point of to the point of taking my memories and molding them into a form that uh, that better suited their desires, their plans for me, their version of my story. Hey, Professor. Mm hmm Do you want to roll an insight check? I would love to. Because <laughs> that's, that's a response you could pick up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I rolled a 15. Oh dear, I don't think I'm going to make it. What is my modifier? Come on, come on, you can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Nope, it is not that good. That is a... No, it's not. It's, um... That is a... Ba -ba -ba. Nine. That is a nine. Nope, no, I wrote it wrong. Nope, nope. It's not a six plus nine. I don't have a modifier that good. It is a six plus three for a total of nine. Mm. I'm messing myself up while I type. I'm so sorry. I hug. Oh. <laughs> There's... I, I will give the professor this. There is a sort of expression that crosses his face um that like you you can't read it but there was a change in expression when that specific thing was mentioned unfortunately i think the professor's gonna misconstrue that as uh <laughs> as like possibly something in Seeker's memory reacting to that which he's not necessarily wrong there but you know uh, something that he recognized that might, uh, you know, have struck a nerve even through the possession. But <laughs> I, I hold my head in my hands. That is not what's going on, um, <laughs> Professor. <laughs> God, I fucking duped him. Um. Yeah, you did. Um, but... Honestly, now that, now that, like, honestly, that reaction, like, he's going to stop beating around the bush, I think, with, like, names. Um, because, like, if they get Seeker to react, then that's a good thing. Uh, <laughs> he's just playing into your head. Um, but he, he just, he just, um... Uh, he's, he's just got this, like, uh, like, awful smile. Like, it's, it's, it's not, there's not an ounce of joy or mirth in it, but, like, um, uh, he sort of, like, uh, leers at them and he's like then later the time SARS claimed I was overstepping when I saved Darth from mm, a galactic war and because you see my interference didn't line up with what they intended for the universe. For their story, I was the fly in the ointment, as it were. So, of course, 
after I solved the problem, they took my friends from me, erased their memories of me, and sent them back to their own times, one to a home which she had hated, and one to a place that he just didn't care for. I went to look for them later, and I was able to find Oz, but I was not able to find Hamish. But that was later. After they took my friends, they executed me and literally forcefully molded my body into a form that suited their new plans for me. And they crippled the ellipsis and they took my memories, the memories needed to repair it, and they left me on Darth, where my only real option, when I came to, was to join the military intelligence coalition who already knew, and he's putting, he's like putting his, he's like tilting his head like back and forth, back and forth, who already knew who I was and what I did by the time I awoke. I could be the head scientist standing over the examination table, or I could be the lab rat on it. Not much of a choice. But these dominoes all set up by the time stars. Because they had a plan. They always have a plan. They've had a plan from the very beginning. And so I don't like you because you remind me of them. Hold on, I gotta roll shit. Mm -hmm. um. Okay, uh, that was a disadvantage, so that, that 15 stands Ooh. up. Um. Boy. Lucky. Uh, do you want to roll an insight as this figure stays silent and, uh, the eye, the eye that you can see kind of, the eyes that you can see kind of looks at you? Hmm. Yeah, sure. Kind of in like a back and forwards motion. Uh. Mm hmm. Alright, I got better roll this time. Uh. That's a 21. Um, Professor? Hmm. You. You have the feeling that whatever. Whoever is in the, the pilot wheel right now feels like they just accidentally stepped on a bee's nest and are feeling kind of guilty about it. Um, uh-huh. Because they wanted answers, but they didn't expect it to be this deep. Um, mm. And they are very distracted in this moment of sort of processing that information. Oh, boy. Well, um... Given what he thinks is going on, I'm afraid that this is going how he's going to continue. Um, uh, he just sort of like uh, leans back on his heels and uh, like visibly like relaxes. Like he looks like he's at ease now, uh, and he smiles his sickly sweet grin. Um, and he goes, feels bad, doesn't it? When it's laid out like that. Kinda, yeah. Well, does that satisfy you? God, I... Ah... <sighs> He's, like, staring. Oh. I think 
something visibly shifts uh, in uh, in this person. Uh, where, whereas before they had like this sort of uh, playful, half co- like kind of cocky energy, mm-hmm. uh, it kind of switches into a more sort of uh, like I don't want to say like a it, it it's like um when when someone does a sudden change of character while doing a solo play. Mm. Like if they were if they were doing some sort of some sort of like monologue and uh, they were they were practicing both parts and suddenly they changed to a different character which they adopted their body style. Mm. Um, um, and uh, you see, you see this. Uh... Got it. I'm going to say... Oh, deception! (laughs) Yeah, deception to hide that, like, he is unsure what's going on and, uh, and this change is... He, he doesn't understand it. Yep, sure don't! Uh, Uh, I think, uh, Seeker approaches and uh kind of gives you a hug professor uh and and you hear a very muffled i'm so fucking sorry yeah he just kind of like uh i i mean i don't know how to tell you this like he flinches um uh and he's just sort of like still and tense and he like looks down at Seeker. Oh, fuck, sorry, wrong play. Um, he kind of, uh, he kind of like uh, stops hugging and sort of takes a few steps back. Um, what? I, I'm sorry, that was the the wrong way to go about this. I I feel. Um, and he kind of uh, like. Uh, he's kind he, of. He looks very confused, but he puts a hand out like. You you don't need to apologize for for being controlled, Professor. Uh, and he he looks up at you in that sort of mix of like uh sort of uh guilt uh, and he he takes a hand uh to his face and uh wipes it over one of his one of his eyes where the the sort of shadow was and you can see as he as he does it his hand drags away uh the darkness and he holds up his hand and there's little black stains on it and uh professor Mm. it was makeup he's just kind of he's just just kind of standing there, like, uh, (laughs) kind of shocked, like, it's unclear what, uh, it's unclear what he's, like, feeling, uh, uh, I I think Seeker kind of, uh, sort of, like, paces a little bit, and it's just, I'm so fucking sorry. I, I got, got all caught up on all of the, all of the. You were reacting badly to the plot stuff, and I, I didn't. That's like, my religion, and we were, we were just talking about religious stuff and your hero, um, and he's like kind of, kind of pacing, uh, and, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why it was bugging me then. I don't know why it's bugging me now. Um, I, I, I had to know, and this was, this was not the way to do it. I'm. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Um. I think he just, like, takes a deep breath, um, and, like, sits on the floor and puts his, uh, his chin in his hands. (laughs) Um, are you okay? (laughs) 
Hey, Professor, do you want another realization? Yeah. If Seeker was actually possessed, he's in the ellipsis. Wouldn't Ellie have told you something? She might have. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh... He just, like, he just, like, uh, I think, I think he's, he just, he just, uh, he looks just kind of blank and he just, like, pulls his hat down over his face. I'm... Uh, fuck, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, um... I, I don't know, I... I just figured you'd actually tell me something instead of just sort of dodging around the subject if I... if I pressed you about it, but I didn't know how to press you about it. Um, because you're very hard to read, Professor, sometimes, but I figured if I made you angry and if I asked about it in that context, maybe I'd get an answer. Um... <laughs> he's sort of, he's sort of, like, pacing, uh... You could just ask. But you have answered honestly. Don't I usually? I don't know. Seeker is now standing still, looking at him. He's still got his face under his hat. <laughs> he kind of fucking shuffles. Like, uh... He, he fucked up this one big time, boys. <laughs> yeah. You could have just asked why I acted so weird about it. I didn't say anything because because I knew it was important to you. <laughs> I'm also dying. It kind Tiger Tiger's giving me he's just like it's kind of I think he starts like sort of uh pacing again because like he's he's slightly anxious. Uh I I know it's I know it's important to me and that's it, I don't I I don't know. I didn't think you'd tell me honestly what you felt about it. I I thought you'd keep it hidden and locked in a box somewhere. <sighs> I shouldn't have asked, I should have assumed, I should have drawn connections with the memories. Um. I mean, you didn't know what was going to happen, but I have to say, I think that was a pretty bad idea. Oh, definitely a bad idea. Um. He's, he's pacing faster. Uh. Just fuck. Oh my god, just calm down. Hang on, I've got to de-energize the console. And he, he, like, he gets up and, uh, just sort of, like, wipes under his hat and puts it back on his head and, uh, um, goes, like, underneath the console to flick, like, a hidden switch and the sort of static hum goes away. Hmm. My goodness, Seeker, I could have hurt you. It's fine, Professor. Um, I was fully, uh, I was, I was mentally prepared for that outcome. Um. Why? I, I don't know. It, you're, you're very hard to read sometimes, and it's, 
<laughs> God. See, you're getting emotional. I'm so sorry. Um. Well, I... I... I didn't know if I was going to get a, a straight answer from you or you were going to say, uh... <laughs> If you were going to say it was it was fine, or I I don't know what to tell you, Seeker. I I I <clears throat> you're not the only I've told TUC asked, and I I said very shortly that that the plot reminded me of the time SARS and that seemed to be sufficient for them so they didn't press but but I did answer them honestly <laughs> his head is in his hands and he's like still he's trying not to pace anymore um because this is my father professor um uh. Mm. Um, he kind of straightens, uh, straightens out and, like, pats his face, uh, like he's, he's resetting. It's just, Professor, I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I don't know what I can do to, to make up for this, but I, I am very sorry. He just opens his arms. <laughs> Seeker hugs. Mm. Just hug. Mm. Not like not like an overly tight hug. Just like a. Actually, you know what? Fuck that. No, he does do a tight hug. Um. Yeah. I think the professor does too. I wiggle. I wiggle. Can I roll an insight on the professor to see how he's feeling? Mm hmm. Oh yeah, nineteen. Um, yeah, he's like, I mean, he's upset. Um, like he's he's like reached a level point now, um, but like, uh, he's upset at kind of being. Uh, well, uh, manipulated by his friend, um, and also at being reminded, you know, and partially his own fault, but reminded of these memories, which really seem to cut pretty deep. Seeker in my head is just like, I fucked up, I fucked up. Oh. <laughs> God. I think, I think he hugs just like a, a fraction tighter. Mm -hmm. Professor's going to like bonk his head down on the top of Seeker's. Mm. He says, that His was... hair is very fluffy. Aw. He says, That was very silly. Don't do that again. Mm. Promise I won't. Thank you. I'm sorry, Seeker's just having emotions in my head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think after after a few moments, Professor says, like, later, if you want to talk about it in earnest, I wouldn't mind. Okay. Yeah, that would... Mm. Are you sure? Well, as long as I'm, you know, prepared for it. <laughs> I should have known this is a fucking terrible idea. Um. 
God, what was that act? I, I don't know, it just came to me. Oh. <laughs> it was very flouncy. <laughs> Listen, we're... But for an eye, well, I had to do something slightly tunish so it would be more realistic. Um, he kind of like, uh, <laughs> kind of like leans back slightly so he can like motion off to the side with his hand. Um, <laughs> it it had to be slightly tuny so it would be more realistic, especially considering the time period. Um, I had to go with something more more tropey, otherwise I wouldn't even have done the the whole eye thing. The eye thing. Um, and he kind of like. Uh, does the, the little eye flash? It's just like that's. I literally just cast pressure digitation. Um, uh. I had pressure digitation on beforehand to cover the fact that I had makeup on. Um. The professor just sort of like shakes him a little bit, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, I, I probably wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't have believed it if I wasn't already. Uh, I didn't want you to be possessed again. Uh, God, Siku, Siku looks so fucking guilty, and it's just, that's, that's why I did that. Well, you got me there. I didn't want to risk missing it this time. <laughs> uh Uh, we are both fools. I I believe I'm a bigger fool than you are. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. <sighs> God. <laughs> I didn't like, even... I'll be giving... Go ahead. Oh, he says, I didn't even consider the time period. I didn't consider the... Why didn't you consider the time period? Your entire thing is time. Well, I know it is, but, well, think about it this way. It, whatever it was, could have either come from out there, or it could have come with us. Why, why would it come with us? It doesn't... I don't know, that's why I, that's why I checked everybody back in Haku, so that nothing could follow us onto the ship. I mean, there were things there that I told to shoo, and then they didn't come in with us. Professor, would it make you feel better if you actually checked me? <sighs> Maybe. It doesn't always work. I... I don't know how your ability works in earnest, uh, but I will try my best to uh, project <laughs> whatever sort of uh, mental energies you need. Oh. Um. He's just like he just shakes his head, but uh, he does put his hands on Seeker's shoulders. Um, mm -hmm. And he got a nat one. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's... Scrambled to yeah. fucking check. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Like, that's not even the perception, like, check that comes after. That's the check to see if it's working. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> Damn. Uh, he just sort of, like shakes his head and like smiles like told you so <laughs> damn uh, he kind of like deflates slightly uh. hmm again I'm I'm very sorry about everything Hmm. I forgive you, Seeker. <laughs> it's uh, probably more more credit than I'm due. Hmm. He shrugs. God. It we go. Hmm. Well. It's perfectly all right if you don't want to forgive me. You know that, right? Oh, I know that. I know that. No, I know. Okay. Good. 
kind of, kind of like nods and like, okay, yeah, Professor knows, okay. Yeah, no, he's he he just like nods and he's like, oh yes, there are there are things that I have not forgiven. Oh, like what? Hmm. Well, uh, like when um, the colonel, the uh, head of um, said uh, military intelligence coalition, um, manipulated me into, into, well, uh, putting the... uh, putting the group of aliens uh, at ease by um, sort of writing up terms of surrender and peace and plans for coexistence in the future. And then once I left, after doing my work in earnest and thinking that everything was fine, He blew the place. He cringes. <laughs> yeah, he's just sort of like he has a grim look, um, and he does a very slight shrug. Now, of course, if um, if Darth at that point in its history recognized those different humanoids as as people that would be a war crime but a war crime a war crime but it doesn't do that that said oh, no I'll never forgive him for that seeker but people are complicated I still consider him my friend how the stars know why, but mm. people are complex. He didn't do it because he was a jerk, you know. Did... There are all sorts of reasons. Should he have done it? No, absolutely not. But he had a sense of duty to his country and his fellow Darthlings and honestly believed that they were dangerous and they would hurt people despite my saying they weren't so he just didn't trust me and I've never forgiven him for that and I remind him occasionally but I don't think he regrets it either Seeker is still kind of having that face of like Ugh. Because, ah, uh, that's kind of what he did. Anyway, <laughs> except for, like, blowing people up. Part. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God. But he's just like, well, so that's an example of somebody I've not forgiven. But I've chosen to forgive you. I think Seeker just gives like a, a a slightly sad smile. It's just it won't it won't happen again. I trust you. Heavens knows why. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you should, you'd think I've I'd learn. <laughs> I, I do I do have a tendency to to lie uh, a lot. Yes, well, <laughs> that as it may be. <laughs> I think that's a, a feature, not a flaw. Oh. <laughs> God. Seeker looks a little touched. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> I wiggle. I'm sorry. I'm just... mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's. I don't know. Uh. Tea. Yes. I can make it for you. Yes. Let's have tea, please. All right. 
Now, where is the kitchen again? Um, I'll lead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, like, when he said that, he, like, kind of skipped off in the direction of, <laughs> like, an entrance. But then kind of, like, paused and was just like, what direction do we go in again? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. And, okay, cool. Yeah, I think that's probably where we leave them, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they go have tea. Oh, Calm have down. Tea. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> I mean, go. Boy. Okay. That sure was. <laughs> that sure was. That <laughs> sure was, baby. My goodness. Well, thank you so much, Magic, for for playing with me. Uh, as a player, this was delightful. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for dealing with my fucking antics. <laughs> it was very good. Um, God. Okay. I hold this floor very close. I love it. Uh, but oh. <laughs> getting it was more more morally questionable. Um. Oh. Mm hmm. Yeah. So we. Uh, that is where we will uh, say goodbye, dear audience. Um, we will see you next time. Please have a good uh, time zone. Thank you for listening. Uh, goodbye. Bye!